During our previous check-in trips, we got a lot confronted with persons who ask us all the time the same questions. Aren't you afraid to hitchhike? You never know who will stop for you. 20 years ago there were a lot more hitchhikers, because then it was still safe. You never heard of Blablacar? If you want, I can bring you to the train station. They don't cost that much. This gave us the perception that the big public has a wrong image of us hitchhikers. Out of this conclusion, there grow an idea. An idea which converted into this video. A video in which a hitchhiking community from all over the world gathers their experience so for once and for all we can erase this wrong image. Hello, I'm Alessia, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Italy. Hey, I'm Jente, I'm 22 years old and I'm from Belgium. Together we formed the art of hitchhiking. But the most important, we, we are, are hitchhikers. Hi, I'm Fanny, I'm 28, I'm from France. Hello, my name is Victor, I am 23 years old, I am from Barcelona. My name is Camila, I am 23 years old. I'm from Germany. Hi, my name, my name is Anna. I'm just 25. I'm from France. My name is Anna. In 2017, I started to hitchhike in Egypt and immediately fell in love with hitchhiking. And I started to hitchhike because when I'm traveling, I'm mainly looking for adventure and with hitchhiking you will have guaranteed adventure. I started to hitchhike in 2013 as a unique way of uh, traveling. Uh, to do this uh, world tour by hitchhiking because for me it's the best way to travel. Uh, it was actually my first time. Uh, I was with a friend in Morocco and we just wanted to try a different way of traveling without uh, private uh, transportation or any bus or kind of train or whatever. So we did it and it was an awesome experience. And there I discovered the hitchhiking. So after that, I could not stop hitchhiking. It was the best thing. I started to hitchhike in 2014. At the time I had just finished my graduation and I was going to start to work. So I wanted to do something different. Uh, and I pack my stuff and cross all Portugal and Spain by hitchhiking and I love it so much that after that I never stopped. I've been asking this question many times to myself and a lot of people ask to me, why do I hitchhike? It's kind of an impulse, it's something that come out from here and it's a way to manifest some feeling that I have, like some desire of freedom. When I'm hitchhiking, it's the time stops, the space, no matter where I am, no matter with who I am, no matter how I will end up, no matter who I am even. It's just pure experience. When I'm traveling and I'm in, lost in the middle of a country I don't know, and I have to depend on other people and I have to trust them. When you trust the unknown, you get something very, very powerful and it keeps you more alive than, than the rest of the other moments. It's something really special. When you hitchhike, you really understand what does it mean to go with the flow. You have no idea about who is going to pick you up, at what time, for how many kilometers, by what vehicles, but this also includes thousands of surprises and deviations from your original plan. Maybe somebody tells you about uh, a place you cannot miss or invite you to sleep over or to go together to a party or to have dinner. The best part of traveling is to dance with the unexpected. I mean, in the morning you woke up and you don't know how your day is going to be. In the night, you lay down and you think back about uh, how your day was and you can figure out uh, how many thousands of contingencies teamed up together in order to allow you to be where you are.
I like this feeling you have uh, when you wake up in the morning, you pack your tent and then you just go pull your tent up and you don't know what will happen during the day. That's why I really enjoy it. For me, hiking is good, it's the best way to meet people and to have like a, a challenge when you travel, to learn new things, new stories and a lot of new things that you can't learn if you travel by train, by bus or by plane. It's really purely about just embracing life and, and being in the moment and letting all these surprises come to you and meeting amazing, amazing people. And every time I'm so surprised like with this love and kindness they, they all are sharing because often and these people who you hitchhike with, they might offer you lunch or dinner or even give you a place to sleep. It fills my heart with love when I see how generous people are. They are amazing. Even if you don't understand each other, even if it's impossible to understand each other, they're still gonna help you and they're still gonna try to discover new world, new culture, and, and you can do the same. Because you step into a private space of somebody in the car or in the truck or I don't know, anywhere and different kind of conversations come up and you're talking about more intimate or private topics that you will not, really not speak about like in the, on the street or in the bar. It, it really teaches you that you can put your trust in people in the world. It's, it's not dangerous. The world is not dangerous. It's full of humanity. We seem to have this view that the world outside of our country is very dangerous, very scary, full of bad people. But that's not the case at all. And when I learned that by watching other hitchhikers, other travelers, I wanted to show that to everyone I know, um, including myself, to prove it to myself. I believe that from all uh, ways that you can travel. Hitchhiking is the purest one and it, it is the, the, one, the only one that allows you to have uh, authentic and real and genuine connection with the people from the place that you are living in uh, without any other interest besides uh, helping another human being. We are talking about real people doing their daily life and they just stop their cars to help someone that is on the road and uh, I, found, I found that uh, amazing and this kind of connection you can only have it when you are living in a place for a long time uh, but while you are traveling it's the only hitchhiking you can have this connection. It's a method incredible and gratis of immersion cultural that you can do. Cosas que tú no harías y ni conocerías si tú hicieras un camino tradicional como de bus o de avión. Creo que yo prefiero este método de lo, de lo que los otros para viajar porque puedo conectarme mejor con, con los lugares, con los ambientes que voy y con la gente. Y para mí eso es lo que más vale en un viaje. Hitting the road, thumbs up, not knowing what to expect, who you're going to meet, is in my opinion the most exciting and challenging thing I've done in my life. And this has led me to the most beautiful and crazy encounters. It literally blows my mind to see how people can get out of their way to help a total stranger without expecting anything in return. Traveling this way has definitely made me a more positive person and it's without a doubt the experience that made me grow the most during all those years I've been traveling. Of course, it's not always easy, especially when you have to face the weather. Sometimes it's pouring rain, snowing, freezing cold, and nobody picks you up. And in that particular moment, it makes you think about the why. Why am I doing this to myself? There are times you have to wait a long, long time before somebody picks you up. There are times you are really tired and still you have to try at least to oh be polite, uh, conversative with the, the guys giving you a ride. When you travel that way, you have to carry your whole house. You have to think about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink. You need to carry everything in your own bag. So that's pretty tiring. You're also very tired of sometimes sleeping outside. So these are the parts that I like the less about hitchhiking, but 
it's the whole thing that makes me like it so much. But I think the most difficult part sometimes can be just to reach a good spot for hitchhiking because normally you have to leave the city and not all the time uh, there is a bus uh, dropping you in front of your uh, hitchhiking spot. But uh, I mean, uh, you have a lot to gain uh, from this uh, way of traveling, so it's still uh, totally worth it. I have a, an uh, analogy that uh, hitchhiking is like uh, an old lady crossing the street. The majority of people that will pass by her will ignore her. Eventually, sooner or later, someone will stop and help her to cross the street. And by almost no chances, someone will pass by her and kick her or punch her. Uh, but sometimes we have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> One of the craziest and most remarkable experiences while hitchhiking was probably hitchhiking through Pakistan and especially through Baluchistan where I hitchhiked while being guarded by police and military. Yo estaba pidiendo auto stop en la carretera y recuerdo bien que se acercó un convoy como de cuatro camionetas y algo así de 15, 18 personas armadas todas ellas. Recuerdo que mi cuerpo se llenó de miedo. Creí que era el final del viaje, creí que hasta aquí había llegado todo, pero resultó que todo fue distinto a lo que imaginé. Esas personas se portaron muy fraternas a, a mi proyecto y no solo me apoyaron con fraternidad y con un poco de efectivo para que yo pudiese continuar mi ruta como apoyo, también me hicieron ver a mi país de otra forma, ¿saben? Como mexicano, Todos los días recibimos una dosis de adoctrinamiento mediático que nos orilla a pensar que todo es violencia. Que no salgas, que no vivas y que vivas en constante shock. Y hasta ese entonces mi mente cambió. Tuve más fortaleza para continuar viajando. Sí, fue una experiencia que moldeó mucho mi forma de pensar. Uh, a man gave me a ride and actually he was uh, going to get a ride on a helicopter. So actually I went with him in a helicopter. So it was my first time uh, flying in a helicopter. It was very fun. I've been hitchhiking uh, limousines in Australia, tractors in New Zealand, uh, horses in Kazakhstan. So uh, many different kinds of uh, vehicles. Good uh, memories. The experience we will never forget about and the person who will be for always in our heart is Yuri, who we met two summers ago while we were hitchhiking Spain. We were hitchhiking and at one moment he stopped for us. And the point was that we were going to sleep at that night in our tent, but he wouldn't let us do that. Yeah. So he started to call some friends for asking for hospitality, but nobody was available. So he just parked the car and he said, wait me just two minutes. We were a little bit worried, but then we discovered that he went to book in a hotel for us for that night. We didn't know how we could say thank you to him because afterwards he even paid us the dinner. He didn't want anything else. And then from one moment to the other, he had to leave and he left us there at that moment with the famous words, Alessia. Hoy yo para ustedes, mañana ustedes para otros. I was in Uzbekistan on my way to Kazakhstan to take the boat uh, to Azerbaijan and I just lived for an entire week with an Iranian truck driver. Um, so I was basically his roommate in the truck. Uh, that guy welcomed me and he took care of me like a dad. He's like my Iranian dad. He doesn't speak English and obviously I, I don't speak his language. And even with that, we managed for a week to have so much fun and, and a lot of private jokes. So, I don't know, it was incredible to live the life of a truck driver for an entire week, lost somewhere in the desert. Um, yeah, just... Hitchhiking is incredible. I love it so much. The right ride always comes. Yeah. Just need to be patient, don't give up, and uh, enjoy the experience. And all these experiences made humanity join a bit closer together for me. I feel hitchhiking is, is embracing the moment and allowing the surprises of life to come into you. 
that's the beauty about it. There's no words how much I love hitchhiking. I wish you all the best. Take care, safe travels. Thank you guys, many kisses to you and keep going to HIK! <laughs>